this video is to show you how to link your Unicard with your Lazada Seller Center and how to migrate, match, update the products from Unicard to Lazada Seller Center. Before we proceed to the next part, there are a few terms that we need to share with you so that you are able to understand better on how the system works. The first term will be the word migration. This happens when the product doesn't exist in Unicard and the product is already available in Marketplace. The system will then migrate over the product from Marketplace to Unicard. The second term will be the word sync. This is when the system passes the product details from Unicard to the related marketplaces. The next term will be the word matching. This is when the system establishes a connection between a product from Marketplace to a product in Unicard, provided that the products are having the same SKU across all marketplaces. Last but not least, we have the term override. This is when the system takes the product details from Marketplace and save it to the product in Unicard. For demo purposes, I will start with the clean store without any products. To set up the Lazada integration, Firstly, go into Marketplaces, look for Malaysia Marketplaces, Lazada Sync, click into it, and for first timers, enable the button for Sell on Lazada. Then you will need to click on the here wording under the Lazada code column. You will then be directed to the Lazada login page where you will need to enter the credentials to your Lazada seller center. If you have multiple Lazada stores, please ensure that you entered the credentials for the correct store. Once done, click on submit. Let it load for a while and you will be directed back to the Unicard page. Enable sell on Lazada again and you will see the Lazada code being generated. Ensure that the sync order and update stock buttons are enabled and for the order sync back remark, select completed. Once done, click save. And now from your Lazada sync main page, click on this more button and select API settings. From here, you are able to see your Lazada code expiration date and when the date comes, you will need to click on this reauthorize button to renew your Lazada code for another 180 days. As of now, my Unicard is without any products and all my products are in my Lazada Seller Center. What should I do next? Firstly, you can send an email to us to migrate the products from your Lazada Seller Center into your Unicard. So you won't have to recreate the whole listing again. You can send the email to support at sitegiant.my and provide us with your domain and tell us that you want to have your products be migrated from Lazada to Unicard. And if you want to migrate manually, you can go back into your Lazada Sync main page, click on the More button and select Lazada Product Migrate. From there, you will need to select the store that you have just linked and click on Search. Let the system load and you will see the product from your seller center showing up. You can click on the orange Migrate button and the system will pull in the product data from the seller center and enter it into Unicard product list. Once the product is migrated over to Unicard product list, you can see two green buttons instead of the orange migrate button. And now, what are the differences between Override Lazada Sync Data and Override Unicard Web Store and Lazada Sync Data? Unicard or Web Store Data is the product details from product product list. And if we click into the product, everything that we see here from this product page is considered as Unicard Web Store Data. And now, what is Lazada Sync Data? Lazada Sync Data can be accessed by two methods. The first method is to go into your product page and at the right marketplace column, click on the action button for Lazada and you will be directed to the Lazada Sync Data. Another method is to go into marketplaces, click into Lazada Sync, click on the action button from here and you will also be directed to the Lazada Sync page. So everything from this page is the Lazada Sync data which will be synced directly to Lazada Seller Center. This means that you can have separate sets of data for your web store products and your Lazada Sync. And if you have products existing in your Unicard product list before you link to Lazada, the products will be matched automatically if the SKU are the same. So make sure that the SKUs are the same in Unicard and all your marketplaces. Now, I'm going to show you how to sync a new product from Unicard to Lazada. Firstly, go into Marketplaces, scroll and look for Lazada Sync. To sync a new product from Unicard to Lazada, click on the green plus button. From here, you'll need to select the Lazada product category. Please be reminded that the categories will need to be selected individually as each marketplaces will have its own sets of categories. Once done, click on next and you will be directed to the SPU information. 
where you can see most of the product details are being imported from product list. You can update the details here as you wish. Remember, you will need to enter all of the mandatory fields. If you cannot find your brand in the Lazada brand list, you will need to sync using no brand. Once done, click on next and you will be directed to the SKU and image. Each Lazada category will have its own sets of product attributes. So for the product category that I have chosen, I will need to enter a variation and a color. Once I have entered the variation and color, the details will be populated accordingly. If you have more than one variant, please be reminded to select the correct variants according to the product attributes given. Once you have checked the images and the seller SKUs are correct, you can click on Sync Now. Once successful, your product will then be sent over to Lazada Seller Center. And if you want to sync a product that has been synced successfully before, click on the blue action button and select the parent SKU. You will then be directed to the same SPU page and if you want to change any details here, you can update it accordingly. Go into the SKU and image tab and if you want to change the pricing, you can change it here. Once you have updated the details here, you can double check that the details here are correct. Once it is good, you can click on sync now. Once it is done, your latest information will then be sent over to the Lazada Seller Center. If you want to update product inventory levels and pricing to marketplaces, kindly do it using these two functions here. Use Marketplace Inventory Management to update inventory levels and use Marketplace Pricing Management to update the selling price to all related marketplaces. The links to the videos are as below. So this is how you integrate your Unicard to your Lazada Seller Center. Thank you for watching the video.